Hello and welcome to another Timberborn video. Today we will be comparing levees and dirt blocks in relation to water and the subsequent fertility of the land to show their similarities and their differences. Until the recent patch, update 2, we as players only had the option to place and remove levees and remove dirt blocks with dynamite in order to control the water in the game. Since we got given golems and those lovely golems know how to excavate dirt, we can now also place neat little dirt cubes. While both levees and dirt blocks will block and redirect the water flow, there are some major differences between them when it comes to fertile ground. Let's have a look at those differences. We will look at the following example with dirt blocks first. As you can see, we have a hole in the ground and used a water dump to fill it to the brim with water. The surrounding area, as you can see, with a radius of 16 blocks has turned into fertile ground. Now what if we place some additional dirt blocks around the hole? We added one layer of dirt blocks and as you can see the fertility of the land surrounding it decreased a little. If we go up even further we can see the range of fertility degrees even more until eventually nothing is fertile around this area anymore. Now let's go to a similar hole in the ground and do the exact same thing with the levees. One layer, nothing changes. Another layer, still nothing happens. And another one, and nothing changes. The result is a lot different. The surrounding area remains fertile for the levees, whereas for the dirt blocks it does not. This might seem as very logical behavior, but when you initially see this happen, it might confuse you for a second, as you might have expected them to behave the same. Taking this knowledge with us, we should consider not using levees to wall off or make a canal across a hillside. Instead, we should use the dirt blocks to keep the ground fertile. The following example will show you what I mean. As you can see on this side, the land is nicely green and fertile, whereas on this side, it is certainly not. When we look into the canal, we can see that this side has dirt blocks all the way down and this side has levees all the way down. When building canals above ground we should consider using levees instead of dirt blocks to have the furthest reach of fertile ground. This is only in case we are not sure if the canal will be filled to the brim with water because in case it is they both have the same reach. In our Twitch Season 4 playthrough, we have used this knowledge extensively and have turned most of the inside parts of our map wide canal into levees, as you can see around here. There are some parts where we still have dirt leftovers, but most of the inner parts of the canals are levees to get the most out of the fertile grounds. Placing levees or dirt blocks diagonally from one another, a glitch made might it seem like water is seeping through. This is just a visual glitch and no floods will happen because of this. So while it is a little bit disturbing to look at, you can easily ignore it. Anyway, I hope this explanation of levees versus dirt blocks in relation to fertile ground will help you plan your farming setups in Timberborn and prevent you from surprise results. That will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? I also stream on Twitch, occasionally, and we have a Discord server. Both of those links are in the description. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.